Hello YouTube, Robin Hood Bricks here, and it's Brick Hall O'Clock with lots of packages from subscribers. Well, as ever, my subscriber group have been very generous. I've got four large packages here, uh, three you can kind of see on shot, and one really, really big one over here. Now, if yours isn't here, there is a bit of a story to tell in that one package that I know has been sent has been received by somebody else with a different PO box number. Uh, yeah, our brilliant postal service in action there. Uh, but fortunately they have got in touch uh, and they're putting that package back into the system and uh, it should get here in due course, but uh, we'll just have to be patient with that. So don't panic, don't panic yet. <laughs> Anyway, let's get on with the first one of these, which is this huge one here, which has come kind of a bit crushed, I must say. I don't know if it's just because it hasn't got enough sort of stuffing in it or what, but anyway, it's really hard to kind of get into and get on shot. So I'm kind of doing it just slightly to one side. Here we go. Right. And we do have, oh, golly, some sets and letters. Wow, really good letter with some pictures. So you can look at the picture while I read this. Uh, Dear Robin. Happy New Year from Harry, Toby, Teddy and Georgie. We hope you enjoyed your time off. We managed to get some progress with our fairground in the loft. We watched you change your daily bugle sign and thought we could do that for a sign at our fair. Below is a picture of what we have done using Lego Disney Stable from Georgie to make the start of a new entrance to our mini modular main street. So we've got Brickland. I really like that. And this sort of, I don't know, it's kind of the back of the donut piece or something like that. I really like that as well. Sort of big round window. Oh, and these are good as well. These sort of spirally panel pieces with the entrance there through the curtains. Yeah, I like that. And you've got the big roller coaster as well. And is that the sort of haunted vertical drop ride? Very nice indeed. Oh, and the sort of Jokerland uh, thing there. You've got loads going on. Fantastic. And a train line. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, second side, yeah, as you can see, we have a railway around the fair. Yeah, there we go. And we love your railway videos and especially all the fun cars on your mega goods train. Yes, that will be getting longer <laughs> in the future weeks. Uh, you may remember we really like the friend sets and we picked up some of the New Year's sales. We thought of you and included a couple of extras in this package. The Acrobat one we have built and looks good when you pull it along as the Acrobat spins. Uh, okay, I'll have to try that. We wondered if we could put this on a train carriage so it spins with the motion, moving like your pump wagon mechanism works. That is interesting. Uh, we also included a fortune teller set, which has some really fun pieces. We wondered about making a carriage out of this or even using it to have some uh, to house some of the battery packs. Oh, that's the bad idea, actually. They are only our ideas. Well, they're good ones. Uh, but whatever you think about them, we know you'll put them to good use. Happy New Year, Harry 11, Toby 10. Teddy 6 and Georgie 4. Oh, thank you very much, gang. And Dad, of course. Uh, wonderful. And Mum, I suppose. <laughs> Though she doesn't ever get a mention, so maybe she's not a Lego fan. But that looks absolutely great. I love the different colours for each letter. Uh, and yeah, you have done very similarly, actually, to the uh, uh, Daily uh, Bugle or the Brick Nottingham Post sign. Yeah, really like that. Thanks very much. Right, so let's look at the contents here. You mentioned two sets, and there we go. There's the Acrobat one. Ah, so there must be some cunning wheel set up in here that just turns and by pure friction alone drives that along. But yeah, it's an interesting idea. Obviously, I wouldn't use a friend's mini doll, but I could either have a series minifigure in there for an acrobat or something like that. I think there's been a couple of those. Or maybe think about something else that might revolve like that, like some weird sort of science uh, thing or I don't know, just kind of riffing out loud there. But yeah, that's good. Got some interesting pieces here. Not too sure about the pony. It's not really my taste, <laughs> to be honest, some of these friends' builds. But, um, yeah, it's a bit twee, really, for me. But, yeah, that is a really interesting mechanism. And I love this piece. Is that printed or stickered? I like that. That looks really good as well. So that's good. Thank you very much for that. And the bigger one of the two oh, is this great big fortune teller set. Let me get rid of this cardboard box chuck that over my head yeah and I have seen this because I've got the crystal ball sort of face that's the only bit I've got but I kind of like that thing going on there that's kind of a good 3d sign got a nice tile there for some cards a bit of a odd colored owl another one of those friends horses but this yeah that is definitely big enough to house a battery box isn't it yeah yeah really like that okay so cool a great start thanks guys 
that has given me lots of uh, ammunition for future builds, definitely. And um, I have actually got to build kind of a small one coming up soon that um, is actually inspired by another challenge, not from this gang, but from somebody else. So I think I have to make my knife a little sharper. It's uh, oh, getting a bit... Oh, I've nearly accidentally screwed up a letter there. It's getting a bit blunt. So here's another letter with more pictures. This is what I like. Oh, I better hide your address. Uh, from Gareth. Dear Robin Hoodbricks, I can show you the picture without giving too much away. Uh, I have a Lego train layout and I saw a Lego shell 49949 and thought that for under a pound it would make a great wagon to go behind one of my trains. Uh, the part comes in set 60351 and 60228. The top of the wagon is the partner part, 45411. Oh, he likes his part numbers like me, <laughs> 56284. And the two together make a great wagon shape. Then I wondered what to exactly put in the wagon and decided that one by one black pieces for coal wasn't sufficiently exciting. Then I found dynamite and thought that would be a good cargo. Well, it's a very dangerous cargo, definitely. Then I found a sticker from set 67704, which would be perfect finish for the wagons. So here is my dynamite train. It goes like a bomb. Ah, good joke. Oh yeah, so that's the sticker with this sort of triangular sign that's got the explosion, sort of warning explosives type thing going on. Hope you like it. Look forward to seeing your cargo train pulling the dynamite wagon. Uh, oh, wow. So you've sent me a dynamite wagon by the sounds of things. <laughs> Love your channel as always. Best wishes, Gareth. Oh, wow. So you might have actually sent me a whole wagon. Well, I've got an octane tanker and I've got a... Um, golly, what else have I got? And I've got plans for more tankers as well. Uh, I've probably forgotten one, but that can definitely get added. I haven't got anything in this colour. And obviously you've gone for the double header train as well, but you've gone for repetition of carriages. Oh, and you've got a nice tram there in a different colour scheme. Oh, I like that, so it matches your bus. Oh, that's very clever. Very good. Oh, and you've even got some sort of lower down stuff going on, much like uh, underneath my bridges as well, but you've gone for a lot deeper. That's really nice. I really like your city. So that's fantastic. I'll keep your lovely letter and picture. And, ha <laughs> the Brick Nottingham Dynamite Company, warning dynamite, handle with care. Oh, I love that. Absolutely fantastic. Right, how do I get into this without destroying it? I'm not going to cut into this because it's too nice. Here we go. Oh, it's a reused box inside out. I love that. Recycling. So we have got... Oh, this is great. Warning, dynamite. Handle with care. Now, I might have to tear this one. Let's see if I can get that off. Should have used my patented hot tea technique. But there we go. That's a sticker I can use somewhere if necessary. <laughs> oh, and it's all built. Oh, wonderful. Oh, thanks, Gareth. Oh, well, this can definitely go on the cargo train and make it even longer. Wow. So we've got a bag in here, which is probably full of dynamite bits, right? So I think I'm supposed to tip them in there. <laughs> uh, is it a very safe way to transport that? I don't know. And oh, that's clearly popped off there. Wow, I like it. Just squeeze it back together again. I think it's separated a little bit. So we've got a relatively plain exterior, but with one of these signs on each side giving us a warning of what's inside. We almost need another sort of warning sticker on here or some warning stripes. I hope you won't mind, Gareth, if I add a bit more uh, sort of stickerage to the outside. But I like that. It's a very nice little wagon. Yeah, very nice indeed. It's even more fun if you do that. I might have to put somebody doing something very careless on the outside to make it a real risk of blowing up. <laughs> you could even have it sort of blowing in mid blowing up with this sort of uh, holding on at a weird angle and some fire coming out, but that's probably a bit too extravagant for going round and round my track. Well, thanks very much for that. I didn't expect a whole build and I'm definitely going to keep these stickers uh, from your packaging. I'll do that later because uh, I love them as well. And this box is just classic. So thanks so much for that. That's really thoughtful. Right, and we've got a package here. Oh, yeah, I definitely need a new blade on this knife. It is blunt as anything. Ugh. Right, oh, this is very well packaged. We've got a lot of tissue paper in here. Something in the middle. And I think lots more tissue paper. Ah, oh, and a letter and a card. Yep, okay. 
Right, so we better start with the paperwork. Uh, dear Robin Hood Bricks, we're sorry to hear you've been unwell. Hope you and Mrs. RHB are feeling better by the time this reaches you. It is great you love the four sheep. We've been paying close attention to all of your videos, obviously. You mentioned there was one piece in particular you wanted to get your teeth into and that you'd kill for to present any murders we enclosed the following gifts. Oh, golly, I've probably said that about loads of things. I can't actually remember what that was about. We ordered this from Bricklink. It's secondhand, but it's been cleaned. It came from Sweden, so we just had to snap it up. This can hopefully go in your under-the-sea cabinet, but keep an eye out so it doesn't eat everything. Oh, wow. That sounds... Oh, my Lord. I've just... <laughs> I think I've just remembered what it is. If it is what I think it is, it's incredibly generous. With best wishes from the Field family and your number one fan, JJ. P.S. My dad wanted to include more shark puns, but I told him there's no way... I can't see this happening. Yeah. Brilliant. Oh, my word. Well, I'm genuinely excited for this one. And we've got kind of a card. Is this a card or is it just sort of something to hold the paperwork? Yeah, I think that's just to hold the paperwork. Wow. Very carefully and delicately wrapped in some felt and some bubble wrap. So if I'm right in thinking, this is the Sharkinator <laughs> from the... Oh, wow. <gasps> that is one of my grail pieces. It is the Sharkinator from the uh, Ultra Agents Inferno... Uh, not Inferno. What am I talking about? Antimatters uh, Portal Hideout set. And it is kind of a robot, massive great white shark with gold teeth. <laughs> and uh, the sort of bolts and numbering on that purple eye to show that he's sort of uh, inspired by antimatter. Wow, and the wonderful colouring. This only obviously came in that set, and it is incredibly rare and difficult to get your hands on. And, oh, it's such a generous and thoughtful gift. Uh, I'm really going to have to start name-dropping all the other things that are on my grail list <laughs> in a very selfish way. But that is so nice. I never thought I would own one of these. Um, wow. I'm kind of speechless on that. Wow, this this has been an amazing haul already. I'm so happy with everything. Something to add to a city, some sets. Oh, golly. And then a Sharkinator. Wow. Oh, he is lovely. Well, he'll definitely go in the cabinet in Pride of Place. Uh, I'll have to do some sort of mini Ultra Agent sort of scene, I suppose, to make sense of that. But Wow. Yeah, we'll have to have an agent in his mouth or something, because you can get quite a lot in uh, one of these things. <laughs> I've got the regular version of this, but this, as I think you'll agree, is a little bit special. Wow. Well, thank you very much indeed for that, JJ. Uh, absolutely generous of you and your dad. Uh, let me mention of mum again. <laughs> Maybe mums aren't into Lego. Thanks so much. Right, the last one for today, and oh my word, I don't know what's in this, but it is heavy. It was described to me as being about the size of two reams of paper, uh, and it is that, and it's also basically the weight of two reams of paper, so I've got absolutely no idea what could be in this. It doesn't, it seems too heavy for Lego, if you see what I mean. Uh, this volume of Lego does not weigh this much, so I've got no idea what to expect in this one either. Uh, but the bar has been set very high. <laughs> and it's incredibly well wrapped again. So excuse me while I get into it. Oh, and it's in a ream of paper box. So the size description was accurate. Da, da, da. It is, oh no, still more. It is, oh wow, an absolute ton of Lego. Wow. So this is from Barry, a great fan of the channel, uh, who had contacted me outside uh, the comment section uh, about donating some sets to the channel uh, to kind of help uh, the growth on, like it needs any more bricks. But thank you very much, Barry. And I kind of declined because I thought it was very generous of him donating his uh, sets. But I really wanted uh, him to get the value back from them by selling them on or something like that. But he has written back to me. Hello, Robin. After reading your comment, I decided to keep the great haul, but have sent you the other sets regardless. I must confess, I kept a few figs for my Diagon Alley set. As before, they are clean and in numbered bags, both set number and bag number. Happy building. The brick not... Oh, this is a bit of a spoiler, because I told him a spoiler. Mm, I'm going to hold this back. Uh, happy building the brick Nottingham blank. <laughs> 
which is what I thought I would uh, use these sets for if I had them. So thank you very much, Barry, aka Audiotron 1003. Uh, and it is Lego, would you believe? All that weight is just a solid, solid lump of Lego. And it is basically a lot of the Hogwarts sets um, in their entirety with some minifigures and cars and side bills and all that. I mean, it's incredibly generous indeed. I mean, some of this is worth a lot of money and that's why I just said to Barry, really should uh, sell it really and get some of his money back rather than just giving it away. But wow. So we've got, uh, I, I can't remember what set it was. I think it was all the sets from the last uh, Hogwarts itself. So we've got the observatory tower and he said he kept the great hall, didn't he? So there's the other bits and bobs to the, the, oh, here we are. We've got the instructions as well. So, I mean, golly, you can see how much there is. I'm just pulling out bag after bag after bag. So if we get rid of the box, we have got the 75953 set. So that's the one with the uh, Whomping Willow or whatever it's called. I'm not very up on my Harry Potter, as you probably have gathered by now. And this, the Observatory Tower, I think. Is that what it is? Or the Great Tower? Something or other like that. Uh, and that has got a nice Christmas tree side build and this lovely clock face. I look forward to using that. Uh, and these will make something, well, old looking with towers, I suppose, uh, in Brick Nottingham, which will be a bit of a change for me. Now, I've already got a castle, so it won't be that. Uh, but yeah, there's a, enough clue for you to be guessing about, I suppose. So, wow, <laughs> I've, I'm really speechless with this haul. Uh, it's been one fabulous thing after the next. I mean, I've got some brand new sets from some uh, very generous people who've given a few times before. We've got some amazing, clean and wonderful, complete Harry Potter sets, which I can use to build all sorts of stuff. I mean, what a mountain of bricks. A contribution to my long, long, long cargo train, which will make it even longer, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. And a novel idea as well, and that we've got all the dynamite in there. Absolutely love that. Uh, and then... Well, the most personal to me, perhaps, is the Sharkinator, just because it's such a grail uh, thing for me. So uh, I think that might win. Not that it's a competition, not that it's a competition, but yeah, it's just absolutely fabulous. So yes, what generosity is on show here? I just can't believe it. I'm really, really made up. And I love the letters and pictures as well. So thank you, one. Thank you all. <laughs> Well, there's nothing I can add to that, I don't think, other than to go through my normal spiel of saying thank you very much for watching. It is appreciated. Do remember to like, comment and subscribe for more awesome LEGO videos. And if you value this channel, there are many ways in which you can support it. Do check out the links in the description below. And if you want to send something to the channel for a future Brick Call, then you can do so to the usual address. Uh, and otherwise, we will be going to the supermarket again this Friday, try and uh, get a bit more progress on that. Uh, another mop build on Monday, uh, and then another brick haul with one of my packages from bricklink.com next Wednesday. So until all of that, see you! Nom 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 nom.